okay a very good morning to everybody so let's today discuss a new chapter on the face of it written by susan hill and it's on page number 56 of your book this starts okay now this author susan hill was born in england in the year 1942 and she's considered to be a very prolific writer and we have discussed this term so many times prolific and uh, her life uh, even though it was full of tragedies she had uh, 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 the tragedies included the death of her first pa- partner the death of her second child and even uh, she herself had to undergo a near death experience because she was suffering from a severe kind of an allergy but still she is uh, she has written many great works she has written many short stories she has written uh, she's a critic also she's a reviewer she has written many novels and from the very early uh, stages uh, stage of her life she became interested in theater and uh, in this chapter on the face of it what do you understand by the title if you just look at the title on the face of it or can anyone just um, try and guess mom is thing some situation or some sort of like that facing some situation yes or on some or somebody anybody else facing and akun says facing some situation or on the face of it browse looking at the title face on the face of it you know on the surface level this things appear to be uh, you know something and if you go deeper into it they have a they have another meaning so it basically deals with the theme that appearances are deceptive and here it, uh, it talk, we talk about two people one is a young uh, boy and another is a, a, a middle aged man and an old man and both of them they are suffering from one kind of one or the other kind of uh, handicap but how their perspective how they towards life is different and uh, how they're totally in contrast to each other and how they're driven towards each other and what kind of changes come in the life of the little boy after meeting the old man this all uh, we would study in this chapter so this is a play basically and it features an old man and a small boy meeting in the farmer's garden so on in whose garden in whose garden the meeting take place the meeting takes place in whose garden old man's garden in the old man's garden the old man he strikes up a friendship with with the boy who is very withdrawn and very defiant so the boy uh, is very defiant you know he is a very introvert kind of a boy and very uh, very withdrawn means he's introvert he doesn't like he doesn't like socializing he doesn't like me- meeting with people he doesn't like interacting with people and uh, he's very stubborn and uh, and defiant also and what is the bond that unites the two which we we would be studying in this chapter So scene one is in Mr. Lamb's garden. There is the occasional sound of bird song and of tree leaves rustling. Derry is the name of the child. Derry is the name of the boy. Derry's footsteps are heard as he walks slowly and tentatively through the long grass. He pauses, then walks on again. He comes round a screen of bushes so that when Mr. Lamb speaks to him, he is close at hand, and Derry is startled. so he enters mr lamb's garden he jumps through a wall and he tries to enter his garden and uh, there are bushes there and mr lamb sees him and he starts talking to him and there he is startled what do you understand by this term startled startled ka kya matlab hai what is startled very simple word what surprised is, yes he is surprised he is taken aback he is uh, he is shocked he is startled one to be there so the moment uh, mr lamb uh, looks at him he sees him there he becomes surprised and uh, mr lamb says mind the apples so there are apples all lying on the ground so mr lamb tells him to mind them otherwise he might fall and he might trip over the apples what who's that who's there so he he feels that the garden is empty usko lagta hai ki garden khali hai aur koi bhi nahi yahan pe aur main yahan pe chala jata hu because he doesn't like mixing with people he doesn't like interacting with anyone for that matter so he is gets surprised he says who is that who is there uh, please mute your mic lambs my name mind the apples crab apples those are wind falls in the long grass you could trip he says because of the wind falls so many apples have fallen down and you could trip over them so you just just mind them and watch and walk carefully i there i thought this was an empty place i didn't know there was anybody here he says i have come i had come here thinking that nobody was there 
I didn't know that you were there. That's all right. I am here. What are you afraid of, boy? That's all. It's all right. Even if I'm there, what are you afraid of? You don't have to be afraid of anybody. Okay? Just uh, be at ease. Okay? And um, uh, what are crab apples? He says, these are crab apples. They've fallen down because of the wind. And uh, crab apples are the apples which are? What are crab apples? Bitter. Know. Yes, Tushika? Bitter apples. Tushika? Bitter apples. Yes, and they are, often, they are often used for making jams and jellies, and they're slightly hard uh, kind of apples. Says, I, I thought it was empty, an empty house. So it is. Since I'm out here in the garden, it is empty. What is empty? The house is empty. So it is, a, it is a, an empty house. Okay, house to khali hai, kyunki main bahar garden mein hoon. Okay, until I go back inside. Jab tak main andar nahi jata, tab tak ki khali hi hai. In the meantime, I am out here and likely to stop. I am out here means I am out in the garden and I am likely to stop here only. I am sitting here. A day like this, it's a beautiful day, beautiful weather. Not a day to be indoors. So I don't. I prefer staying outside in this kind of a weather, in this kind uh, on this kind of a day. So I prefer staying outside. It is not a day meant to stay indoors. I have got to go. And suddenly Derry becomes panicky and says, "I have to go. I have to go." Not on my account. He says, please don't get afraid and don't go away or because of me. I don't mind who comes into the garden. Even though it's my house and my garden, I keep always keep the gates open. The gate is always open. Only you climb the garden wall. Gate is open, then you jump wall the wall. I don't mind people coming in. Actually, I like people uh, visiting me and that is why I always keep my gates open. You were watching me and he gets angry he says, so you were watching And he says, I saw you but the gates open. All welcome. You are welcome. I sit here. I like sitting. Everybody is welcome in my house. Okay? So you are welcome. You can come here anytime. I just like sitting. I keep on sitting. I, I sit here. I had not come to steal anything. He says, I have not No, no. The young lad steals. He says, no, I have not come to steal anything. You are very grown up. Scrumpy apples, little children come to steal anything. But you are not so young. I just wanted to come in into the garden. So you did. Here we are then. You don't know who I am. A boy, 13 or so. 14. But I have got to go now. Goodbye. He says, no, I am not 13. I am quite grown up. And I'm 14 years old and I have to go. I must rush. Why should that be? Everyone is. It, uh, he says, um, no, goodbye. Not to be afraid of, just a garden. Just He says, what are you afraid of? Is it a real? It's a garden. And I'm a garden. But he says, I'm not afraid. People are afraid of me. He says, I'm not afraid of anyone. But normally people are. Why should that be? Everyone is. It doesn't matter who they are or what they say or how they look. How they pretend, I know, I can see. He says, when they look at me, they keep on pretending, but they're afraid of me. I can see. I feel that people are scared of See what? What they think? What do they think then? You think. What do you think of them? What do you think of them? What do you think of them? He says, you think, here's a boy. You look at me and then you see my face and then you think. That's bad. That's a terrible thing. That's the ugliest thing I ever saw. So, when you see me and then you think that I have never seen it before. That is the ugliest thing I ever saw, I have ever seen in my life. Okay? You think poor boy, but I am not, not poor. Underneath, you are afraid. You are scared of me. What do you do with me? You pity on me. Okay? Anybody would be, I am. When I look in the mirror, I see it, I am afraid of myself. He says, even I am afraid of my face. The moment I stand in front of the mirror and I look at myself in the mirror, I get afraid of me. So this chapter deals with a sense of loneliness, it's a sense of isolation. And in this chapter, it deals with, a, with various handicaps. And the important point about a handicap is, it is not the pain that you get from a physical impairment is, impairment is not so much as the pain that you get when people pity you, okay? Then, uh, you know, there has to be some sense of dignity which every person feels he or she is deserving of. So, the, he, he is feeling the pain and what pain he is going through, what torture he is going through in his life is people start pitying him the moment they look at his face. They get afraid of him, okay? And he says, I myself am afraid of my own face. The moment I look into the mirror, I get afraid of myself. 
No, not the whole of you, not of you. He says, yes. Later on, so Mr. Lamb tries to change the topic. So he says, people are scared of me, they are scared of me, they are scared of me. He says, I could be scared of you. So Mr. Lamb says, later on, when it's a bit cooler, when it's a bit cooler, when it's a bit cooler, then I'll get the leather and a stick and I'll pull down those crab apples. Okay, I'll take a stick, I'll take a leather, 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 they're ripe for it. Because they're cooked, I'll make jelly. I'll make jelly from those crab apples. I'll make jelly from those crab apples. It's a good time of the year, September. Just look at them, orange and golden. That's magic fruit. Which fruit is he talking about here? Which fruit? Yes, apples. He says, that's magic fruit, I often say. But it's best picked. Picked and made into jelly. Okay, so the best use of this is to make crab apples. So, you can cut them and make them what you can make, jams, jellies. You could give me a hand or you can help me with my own help. What have you, and he's very, very, very smart and he could easily make out that Mr. Lamb has changed the topic. So, he says, what have you changed the subject for? People always do that. Why don't you ask me? He says, what are you talking about? Everyone does this. Why have you changed the subject? Everyone does this. Everyone does this. Why do you do what they all do? जो सब लोग करते हैं आप भी वैसा क्यों कर रहे हो? And pretend it isn't true and isn't there. और क्यों आप ये दिखावा कर रहे हो कि ये सच नहीं है और ये है नहीं जबकि आपको साफ दिख रहा है? In case I see you looking at mine and get upset, शायद आपको ये लगता होगा कि मैं देख लूँ आपको मेरे फेस की तरफ देखते हुए और मुझे बुरा लगे, ठीक है? I might mind it. I'll tell you you don't ask me because you are afraid. मैं बताता हूँ आप मुझसे क्यों नहीं पूछ रहे हो? क्यों नहीं पूछ रहे हो? You are afraid of me. Why does he say so? Yes, because half of his face was burnt. So that is why he says, uh, you are afraid. You don't ask me because you are afraid to. You want me to ask? Say so then. I don't like being with people, any people. He says, I don't like being around with people. I don't like surrounded by people. I don't like mingling with people. I don't like interacting with people. I should say so to look at it. I should say you, you got burnt in a fire. You get that? You see, it feels like you got burnt in a fire. You got acid all down that side of my face and it burnt it all away. You get that? You see, it feels like you got burnt in a fire. You got acid all down that side of my face and it burnt it all away. You get that? You see, it feels like you got burnt in a fire. You got acid all down that side of my face and it burnt it all away. सारा मेरा फेस जला दिया। It ate my face up, it ate me up, and now it's like this, and it won't ever be any different. Okay, it ate my face up, it ate me up. What do you mean by this? Can anyone just describe it? What he is going through, what his feelings are. He says it. The acid ate my face up, it ate me up. What do you mean by this? Very good. So he says because of that acid, it, it not just it, it didn't just uh, uh, scar his face. It ruined his entire life, and because of it, he's, he's not able to talk to anyone. Because whenever he uh, gets near people, he feels that the people are afraid of him, even to look at him. So he says uh, it, it is not going to be any different in my life. Now it is now going to be like this forever. Uh, it won't ever be any different. No, aren't you interested? He says you are a boy. Who came into the garden? Plenty do. I am interested in anybody. I like meeting people. I like mixing up with people. Anything. I am interested not only in people. I am interested in things. I am interested in each and everything. There is nothing God made that doesn't interest me. Look over there. Over beside the far, far wall. What can you see? Rubbish? Rubbish? Look boy. Look. What do you see? Just grass and stuff. Weeds. Some call them weeds. If you like. Then a weed garden. So he gives him an example and says, just look over that wall. What do you see there? And he says, there are weeds over there. He says, okay, you can call them weeds and you can say that it's a weed garden over there. There's fruit and there are flowers and trees and herbs, all sorts. But over there, weeds. He says, what are weeds? Weeds are unwanted plants, but I like weeds. I grow weeds over there. Why is one, and he says, underline this is very important. He says, why is one green growing plant called a weed and another flower? Asa kiyo hai ki a green growing plant ko aap weed bolte ho, to sirko flower bolte ho. Everything which is growing interests me. Everything which is alive interests me. What is the difference? It is all life and it is all growing. Same as you and me. But Derry says, we are not the same. 
आई एम ओल्ड यू आर यंग यू हैव गॉट अ बर्न फेस आई एम गॉट अ टेन लाइन इतना क्या फर्क पड़ता है हम एक जैसे हैं इफ यू आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम वन काइंड ऑफ वन काइंड ऑफ हैंडी कैप इफ योर फेस इज स्कार्ड इट इज बर्न देन आई एम ऑल्सो सफरिंग फ्रॉम अ हैंडी कैप माई लेग इज आई गॉट अ टेन लेग आई एव गॉट एन आर्टिफिशियल लेग नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट यू आर स्टैंडिंग देयर आई एम सिटिंग हेयर बोथ आर सेम अकॉर्डिंग टू मी कुछ फर्क नहीं है ठीक है वॉट इज द डिफरेंस हैव यू वाई हैव यू गॉट अ टेन लेग रियल वन गॉट ब्लोन ऑफ यर्स बैक Lamey lamb, some kids say. Haven't you heard them? You will. Lamey lamb. It fits. It doesn't. He says it doesn't bother me. Student, uh, there are many children who call me, address me by the name Lamey lamb. So, I just suit that because I am lame. I don't mind it. Okay, because one of my legs it got blown off. Okay, बहुत साल पहले. So he says I don't mind this thing and I feel that everything, everybody is the same. You are just as I am. If you have got a handicap, I also have a handicap. but you can put on trousers and cover it up and no one sees and they don't have to notice and stare wo kehta nahi mere mein aur aap mein farak hai mere to face pe saaf samne dikhai deta hai aapki agar tin leg hai aap trouser pehen ke usko cover kar sakte ho log ko ko pata bhi nahi chalega some do he says no it's not like that some children and some people do look at me they stare at me some don't and they get tired of it in the end there's plenty of other things to stare at the duniya mein dekhne ke liye kya meri artificial tongue aur tumhara jala hua face hi there's so many things to look at Why are you so bothered about these trivial matters, like my face? And he's concentrated in his whole, in this entire world. The entire world of Derry just revolves around his face. You know, he's so much into it. He's engrossed in it. He's deeply rooted into it. This thing is not coming out of his mind. So he says, like my face. He says, no, not your face. Like crab apples, or the weeds, or a spider climbing up a silken ladder, or my tall sunflowers. Things. It's all relative. It's all beauty and the beast. What the, what is that supposed to mean? You tell me. You need not think they haven't all told me that fairy story before. So get that. As a man, so cho. कि मैंने ये fairy tale ये beauty and the beast की कितनी बारी सुनी है मैंने मुझे भी पता है. It's not what you look like. It's what you are inside. उसका moral message क्या था? उसका theme क्या था? कि appearance appearance matter नहीं करते. जो आप अंदर से वो matter करता है. ठीक है. So beauty lies within. It is not on or uh, it is not on the face of it. ठीक है. बाहर नहीं है. So handsome is as handsome. What does he mean? As handsome does. मतलब आपके actions matter करते हैं, आपका appearance matter नहीं करता. This is what the moral of that story is. Beauty loved the monstrous beast for himself, and when she kissed him, he changed into a handsome prince. This was the story. Only he wouldn't. He would have stayed a monstrous beast. I won't change. कहता वो story थी, वो fairy tale थी. मैं change नहीं होने वाला. In that way, no, you won't. And no one will underline this. No one. Uh, Will kiss me ever? Only my mother. Underline this. The character sketch of the mother. The, some of the characteristics of the mother are also highlighted here. And she also kisses me on the other side of my face. Even my mother makes me feel that uh, make makes me feel so. Why I am not lacking in confidence? It is also because of my mother. Because she also she is overprotective and she also kisses me on the you know, on the other side of the face. जो burnt side है वो भी उस तरफ नहीं आती है ठीक है एंड आई डोंट लाइक माई मदर टू किस मी शी डज इट बिकॉज शी हैज टू वो ऐसा करती है शी इज अफेक्शनेट टूवर्ड्स मी बिकॉज शी इज माई मदर तो मुझे ये अच्छा नहीं लगता वाई शुड आई लाइक दैट आई डोंट केयर इफ नो बडी एवर किस इज मी बट यू डू केयर इफ यू नेवर किस दैम वॉट गर्ल्स प्रिटी गर्ल्स लॉन्ग हेयर एंड लार्ज आईज पीपल यू लव हु वुड लेट मी सिज नो बडी इज गोइंग टू लेट मी कम नियर नियर एनी वन आई वोट बी अलाउड टू हु कैन टेल I won't ever look different. कहता मैं हमेशा ऐसे ही दिखने वाला हूँ मैं इसे अलग कभी भी नहीं दिखने वाला हूँ When I am as old as you, I will look the same. I'll still only have half a face. तो वो अपनी आइडेंटिटी क्या समझता है कि मेरा हाफ ही फेस है हाफ तो जला हुआ है ठीक है दिस इज माई आइडेंटिटी मेरा सिर्फ आधा ही फेस रहेगा सो यू विल कहता है मतलब दुनिया इससे बहुत ज्यादा है बाहर निकलो इस चीज से But the world won't. The world's got a cold face, and the world's there to be looked at. There's so many things around the world. There's so many things to explore in the world. Just come out of your world, your world of your face. Yeah, अपने आप को confine मत करके रखो. इस चीज से बाहर निकलो. This is what he is trying to tell him. Do you think this is the world? This cold garden, ये world है आपके हिसाब से? Derry बोल रहा है. This is the world for you. When I am here, not the only one, but the world as much as anywhere. मतलब जब मैं यहाँ पे हूँ, ऐसा नहीं है, but जब मैं यहाँ पे नहीं है, मेरे लिए मेरा world है. So Derry now asks him about his leg. He says, Does your leg hurt you? क्या आपको दर्द होती है उससे? Tin doesn't hurt, boy. When it came off, कहता ठीक है, अभी दर्द नहीं होती है, अभी तो tin है वहाँ पे. 
ठीक है अभी तो आपके आर्टिफिशियल है पर जब वो वेन इट वॉज ब्लोन ऑफ डिट इट हर्ट देन सर्टनली एंड नाउ आई मीन वेयर द टेन स्टॉप जहाँ पे टेन खत्म होता है वहाँ तो आपको बहुत दर्द होती होगी एट द टॉप नाउ एंड देन इन वेट वेदर इट डजेंट सिग्निफाई वो कहते हैं हाँ होती है कभी कभी जब बारिशों का मौसम होता है तब होती है दर्द होती है पर इसका फर्क नहीं पड़ता वो दैट समथिंग एल्स दे ऑल से वो कहते हैं लोग मेरे बारे में बहुत कुछ बोलते हैं डेरी इज हाउ टाइम एंड अगेन ही इसका मूविंग बैक टू द सेम टॉपिक एंड द टॉपिक इज ऑफ हिज फेस वो क्या बोल रहा है देर इज समथिंग एल्स दे ऑल से लुक एट ऑल दोज पीपल हु आर इन पेन एंड ब्रेव एंड नेवर क्राई एंड नेवर कंप्लेन एंड डोंट फील सॉरी फॉर देट सर वो कहते हैं सब लोग उन लोगों को देखो लोग क्या बोलते हैं ठीक है लोगों दूसरों के बारे में कहना बहुत आसान है लोग क्या बोलते हैं कि उनको देखो और लोगों को देखो जो इतनी पेन में है मतलब फिर भी कभी रोते नहीं है कभी कंप्लेन नहीं करते हैं अपने लिए कभी सॉरी नहीं फील करते हैं आई हैव इन सेड इट एंड थिंक ऑफ ऑल दोज पीपल वर्स ऑफ देन यू लोग ये भी बोलते हैं ठीक है बहुत आसान है लोगों के लिए कहना कि अपने से और लोगों के को देखो जिनका तुम्हारे से भी ज़्यादा बुरा हाल है थिंक यू माइट हैव बीन ब्लाइंडेड सोचो अगर तुम्हारी आंखें ना होती You, uh, you might have uh, been born deaf अगर तुम बहरे होते और you might have to live in a wheelchair ठीक है चाहे तुम मतलब इतने ज़्यादा हैंडी कैप होते कि तुम चल भी ना सकते और be daft in your head and dribble what do you understand by be daft in your head and dribble speak up what is being daft in your head and dribble बोलो being daft in your head and dribble बोलो yes daft means somebody who is foolish and dribble is मतलब आप सिली सबसे लिए पर्सन की मतलब मतलब जिसको बोलते हैं मंद बुद्धि ठीक है तो हो सकता है कि तुम्हारे कुछ मेंटल प्रॉब्लम होती है कि तुम ठीक है तुम्हारा दिमाग ना विकसित हुआ होता दैट माइट हैव बीन अ प्रॉब्लम ठीक है सो तुम मेंटली चैलेंज्ड होते फिर तुम उन लोगों के बारे में सोचो एंड दैट्स ऑल ट्रू एंड यू डो इट वो कहते हैं मिस्टर लैम कहते तो ठीक है इसमें क्या गलत है अगर वो ऐसा कहते हैं तो उसमें गलत क्या है ये सब सच है इट वोट मेक फाइव माई फेस चेंज वो बोलते हैं इन सब बातों से मेरा फेस तो नहीं चेंज होने वाला डू यू नो वन डे a woman so he is you know there are people who keep on uh, saying things about him he has heard a lot of uh, things being said about him to unko yaad kar kar ke wo pareshan hota hai wo sun aur wo bata raha hai kaise incident he says um, do you know one day a woman went by me in the street i was at a bus stop and she was with another woman and she looked at me and she said she whispered theek hai usne us lady ne ek aur lady ke sath uske kaan mein kuch bola उसने मुझे सुनाने के लिए नहीं बोला बट ओनली आई हर्ड इट मुझे सुन गया शी सेड लुक एट दैट दैट्स अ टेरेबल थिंग इस फेस को देखो ये कितना बुरा है कितना भयानक है दैट्स अ फेस ओनली अ मदर हुड लव ठीक है ऐसा फेस है ऐसे इंसान को और ऐसे फेस को तो सिर्फ एक माँ ही प्यार कर सकती है सो यू बिलीव एवरी थिंग यू हेयर दैन दिस इट वॉज क्रूअल ठीक है वो कहते हैं आप हर चीज़ जो सुनते हो उस पर विश्वास कर लेते हो दिस इज इट वॉज क्रूअल ऑन पार्ट टू हैव सेट दैट मे बी नॉट मेंट एज सच जस्ट समथिंग सेड बिटवीन कहते हैं वो ऐसे उसका मतलब नहीं होगा वो आपस में बात कर रही थी वो तुम्हारे लिए नहीं था ठीक है सो हर चीज़ जो सुनते हो वो हर चीज़ को उसको अपनी लाइफ में आप मतलब उस पर बिलीव करना मत शुरू कर दो ओनली आई हर्ड इट आई हर्ड एंड इज दैट दी ओनली थिंग यू हैव एवर हर्ड एनी वन से इन योर लाइफ क्या ये एक लौती चीज़ है जो आपने पूरी जिंदगी में सुनी है लोगों को कहते हुए ओ नो आई हैव हर्ड लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स सो नाउ कीप योर ईयर्स शर्ट अब कान बंद करो यू आर पिक्यूलियर ही सेज यू आर पिक्यूलियर मीन्स यू आर स्ट्रेंज यू से पिक्यूलियर थिंग्स यू आस्क क्वेश्चन आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड आप अजीब बातें करते हो आप स्ट्रेंज बातें करते हो ठीक है आप ऐसे क्वेश्चन पूछते हो जो मैं समझता नहीं हूँ आई लाइक टू टॉक आई लाइक टू हैव कंपनी यू डोंट हैव टू आंसर क्वेश्चन क्या नहीं होता मैं क्वेश्चन पूछता हूँ क्योंकि मुझे अच्छा लगता है मुझे कंपनी अच्छी लगती है मुझे सवाल पूछना अच्छा लगता है तुम्हारे लिए जरूरी नहीं है कि तुम हर सवाल का मेरे जवाब दो यू डोंट हैव टू स्टॉप हेयर एट ऑल तुम्हें यार रुकने की भी जरूरत नहीं है तो गेट्स ओपन जैसे आप आए हो गेट खुला है चाहे आप दिमाग आप क्या हो गेट खुला है यहाँ से चले जाओ यस बट देन मिस लैम देन गोज ऑन टू से आई हैव अ हाइव ऑफ बीज बिहाइंड दो स्ट्रीज ओवर देयर सम हेयर बीज एंड दे से बीज बस बट वेन यू लिसन टू बीज फॉर अ लॉन्ग वाइल दे हम एंड हम मीन्स सिंग I hear them singing my bees. It is all your perception about things. This is what he tries to say through this example. आप कैसे चीज़ों को देखते हो perceive करते हो कैसा आपका reaction होता है It's all based on that. Your thought process. सब कुछ आपके mind में है ठीक है आप bees को सुनते हो 
मुझे कईयों को लगता है कि बीज बस करते हैं ना बजिंग साउंड दैट इज वेरी इरिटेटिंग फॉर द ईयर्स पर मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि व्हेन दे व्हेन यू लुक एट देम एंड यू हियर देम फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम आई फील द बीज आर नॉट बजिंग बट दे आर सिंगिंग वो जो हमिंग साउंड है मेरे लिए एक म्यूजिक से कम नहीं है सो इट इज ऑल इन यू माइंड इट इज ऑल योर थॉट्स दैट मैटर इट इज हाउ यू परसीव थिंग्स दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दैट मैटर्स बट आई लाइक इट हियर आई केम इन बिकॉज आई लाइक इट व्हेन आई लुकड ओवर द वर्ल्ड मतलब मुझे अच्छा लग रहा है यहां पे इस गार्डन में मुझे कहीं जाके वैसे अच्छा नहीं लगता तो मुझे अच्छा लग रहा है मुझे अच्छा लगा मैं यहाँ पे आया जब मैंने वॉल की तरह वॉल से झांक कर देखा मुझे ये गार्डन अच्छा लगा इफ़ यू सी मी यू वुड नॉट हैव कम इन वो कहता है तुम्हें अच्छा लगा क्योंकि तुम्हें लगा यहाँ पे कोई है नहीं अगर तुम मुझे देख लेते तो तुम शायद ना आते नो नो इट वुड हैव बीन ट्रेस पासिंग वॉट यू अंडरस्टैंड बाई ट्रेस पासिंग वॉट इज ट्रेस पासिंग Yes, very good. Invading someone's land without his consent. आप किसी के कंसेंट के बिना किसी के लैंड में घुस जाओ दैट इज ट्रेस पासिंग दैट्स नॉट वाई वो कहते नहीं नहीं ये कारण नहीं है मुझे पता है तुम यहाँ तुम यहाँ पे क्यों नहीं आते क्योंकि तुम्हें लोगों से मिलना अच्छा नहीं लगता इसलिए ना आते ट्रेस पासिंग का तो कोई इशू ही नहीं है आई डोंट लाइक बींग मेयर पीपल वैन दे स्टेयर वैन आई सी दैम बींग अफ्रेड तो मुझे अच्छा नहीं लगता मुझे अच्छा नहीं लगता जब लोग मुझे देख के डरते हैं आई डोंट लाइक इट Okay, uh, I don't feel good. You could lock yourself up in a room and never leave it. उसको एक example देता है। ये तो ठीक है। आप ऐसा कर सकते हो, अपने आप को एक कमरे में बंद कर दो, और कभी उस कमरे से ना निकलो। There was a man, वो कहते हैं एक ऐसा इंसान था, उसने ऐसा किया। He actually did that. There was a man who did that. He was afraid, you see, of everything. You know, he was suffering from some kind of a phobia. और वो क्या phobia था? हर चीज़ से डर। ठीक है? Everything in this world. और उसको क्या लगता था? A bus might run over, run, run him over. और अ मैन माइट ब्रीद डेडली जर्म्स ऑन टू है और अ डोंकी माइट के खेम टू डेथ मतलब कुछ भी मतलब किसी चीज से भी वो मर सकता है दिस इज वॉट ही थॉट और लाइटनिंग माइट स्ट्राइक हिम डाउन और ही माइट लव अ गर्ल एंड अ गर्ल वुड लीव हिम एंड ही माइट स्लिप ऑन अ बनाना स्किन एंड फॉल एंड पीपल हु सॉ हिम वुड लाफ दर है मतलब इतना वो डरता था कि वो घर से बाहर ही नहीं जाता छोटी से छोटी चीज से लेकर बड़ी से बड़ी चीज तक से वो डरता ही था बस सो ही वेन इन टू हिज रूम तो उसने क्या किया एक रूम में गया He locked the door, अपने आप को तो उस पर बंद कर दिया एंड वॉट इन टू हिस्स बेड और वहीं पर रहा बहुत देर था फॉर फॉर एवर डेरी टू उसने हमेशा के लिए रहा नो फॉर अ वाइल और फिर उसके बाद क्या हुआ अ पिक्चर फेल ऑफ द वॉल ऑन टू हिज हेड एंड किल हिम उसी रूम में उसी के घर में उसी की दीवार से एक पिक्चर उसके सिर पर गिरी और वो उस पिक्चर से मर गया सो यू डाई ओनली वंस आप एक ही बार मरते हो तो मरने से पहले नहीं आपको हजार मौतें मरनी ठीक है दैट इज लाइक अ दैट वुड बी लाइक अ कावर्ड एक डकोक की तरह होगी जो अपनी मौत से पहले ही हजार बार सोच सोच के मरता है हाँ ऐसे हो जाएगा हैसे, हैसे हो जाएगा ये हो जाएगा वो हो जाएगा सो सो द ब्रेव दे टेस्ट ऑफ डेथ ओनली वंस एंड द कावर्ड जाए मेनी टाइम्स बिफोर देयर डेथ ओके सो दिस इज वॉट ही मीन्स टू से एंड डेरी लाफ सो नॉट सो ही फाइंड दिस स्टोरी वेरी फनी वेरी अम्यूजिंग एंड वेरी एंटरटेनिंग एंड ही लाफ You see, but you still say peculiar things. वो कहता है मुझे फिर भी लगता है कि आप थोड़ी अजीब बातें करते हो. Peculiar to some. What do you do all day? क्या करते हो आप चलो सारा दिन ये बताओ. I sit in the sun. I read books. You thought it was an empty house, but inside it's full books and other things full. वो कहता है आपको लगता है ये घर खाली है? घर खाली नहीं है. अंदर जाके देखो भरा हुआ. It's full of books. It's full of everything. But there aren't any curtains at the windows. So he's a very open-minded person. You know, he likes people coming into his house. He likes people coming into his uh, garden. He welcomes everybody. Even he, uh, he's uh, to this extent that he doesn't even have curtains uh, in his uh, on his windows. Okay, windows. Who's the curtains? He never covered. Kia hua. Curtains bhi nahi lagaye hue. He says, I am not fond of curtains. I don't like shutting things out. Shutting things in. I like the light and the darkness and the windows open. तो मुझे अच्छा लगता है जब light अंधेरा आती है मुझे वो अच्छा लगता है जब अंधेरा होता है मुझे बाहर अंधेरा देखना अच्छा लगता है मुझे curtains पसंद नहीं है I like to hear the wind. I like the bees buzzing. I like the uh, uh, the uh, tap of the rains. I like everything, each and everything that God has made. There's nothing in this world that doesn't interest me. Yes, I like that. When it's raining, I like to hear it on the roof. तो डेरी कहता है हाँ मुझे भी अच्छा लगता है कि जब बारिश हो रही होती है और छत पे बारिश पड़ रही होती है मुझे वो आवाज़ अच्छी लगती है सो यू आर नॉट लॉस्ट आई यू कहता ठीक है तो अपने आप को पूरा नहीं खोया है तुमने नॉट ऑल टुगेदर यू डू हेयर थिंग्स तुम भी सुनते हो चीज़ों को यू लिसन एंड देन डेरी से इज दे टॉक अबाउट मी डाउन स्टेयर्स मेरा आई एम नॉट देयर वो कहता है लोग मेरे बारे में बात करते हैं मेरे रिलेटिव मेरे पेरेंट्स मेरे बारे में बात करते हैं जब मैं आस नहीं होता 
वट विल ही एवर डू वो क्या करेगा अपनी जिंदगी में वट्स गोइंग टू हैपन टू हेम वेन ही हैव गॉन जब हम नहीं रहेंगे तो क्या होगा इसका हाउ एवर विल ही गेट ऑन दिस इज सच अ क्रूअल वर्ल्ड इस इस जिंदगी में ये अपनी जिंदगी में जिएगा कैसे आगे चलेगा कैसे लुकिंग लाइक दैट ऐसी शक्ल लेकर विद दैट ऑन एस फेस विद दो कार्स ऑन एस फेस दैट्स वॉट दिस इज इवन माई पेरेंट दिस सच थिंग्स अबाउट मी लॉर्ड बॉय यूव गॉट्स टू आर्म्स टू लेग्स and eyes and ears you've got a tongue and a brain you will get on the way you want pata hai socho kya soch kya rahe ho tum sun kya rahe ho kya tumhara apna dimag nahi hai tumhare paas aankhein hain tumhare paas haath hain taange hain zubaan hai sab kuch tumhara chal raha hai everything is working and you are going to get on to the world like everybody else does and if you choose or agar aap chaho you and you set your mind on it and you become focused abhi tumhara focus sara kahan hai on your face agar tumhara life mein focus theek se bane then you could get on better than all the rest to baaki kafi duniya se tum acha kar lo how same way as i do do you have any friends i have hundreds of friends but you live by yourself in that house it's a big house too wo kehta hai ki mere bahut hazaron sankaron mere friends hai wo kehta hai par aap to akele rehte ho says friends everywhere people come in everybody knows you log yahan pe aate hain jaise aaj tum aaye ho aise log aate rehte hain aur हर कोई मुझे जानता है द गेट्स ऑलवेज ओपन दे कम एंड सेट हेयर एंड इन फ्रंट ऑफ द फायर इन विंटर जब सर्दियाँ होती हैं तो मैं लकड़ी यहाँ पे लकड़ियाँ जला देता हूँ और यू नो यहाँ पे आके लोग हाथ सेकते हैं अपने द किड्स कम इन फॉर द एप्पल्स एंड पियर्स लोग बच्चे यहाँ पे फ्रूट्स खाने आते हैं एंड फॉर टॉफी और मैं हनी की टॉफी बनाता हूँ और मैं जेली बनाता हूँ मैं जैन बनाता हूँ एनी बडी कम्स सो हैव यू और आप भी इसी तरह से आए हो सो एवरी बडी इज वेलकम जस्ट लाइक यू आर वेलकम यू कैन कम हेयर एनी टाइम एंड पीपल कीप ऑन कमिंग इन टू माई हाउस दे कीप ऑन कमिंग इन टू माई गार्डन एंड आई वेलकम ईच एंड एवरी वन ओके सो यू कैन जस्ट गो द मार्क हेयर वी कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम हेयर द नेक्स्ट टाइम यू मीच ओके डन हाफ ऑफ द चैप्टर मोर देन हाफ एंड डू द रेस्ट ऑफ इट वी कम्पीट इन द नेक्स्ट टाइम ओके okay.